Um, we've been reading Junie B. Jones, Dumb Bunny. We are on chapter four, and so far what's happened is Lucille said she was having an Easter party. There was gonna be an Easter egg hunt with the Easter bunny there. There was going to be a grand prize if you found the golden egg, and the grand prize was, do you remember? The grand prize was that you would get to have a play date with Lucille in her fancy house with her fancy swimming pool that's heated and inside. Um, so far, everyone's gotten to the party except not for May yet. And so Junie V. Jones is kind of excited. She's crossing her fingers and hoping that she doesn't come. So let's see what happens in chapter four. It's called Eggs and Sweaty and Other Stuff. And just as I was getting hope, another car pulled up and Fooey sitting in the back seat was May, May, May's here, she shouted through the open window and she was clapping and cheering for herself. And then she jumped out of the car and she ran to Lucille's family and she started shaking all their hands. Hello, hello, I'm May and I've come to win the golden age. She, egg, she told them. She skipped to Lucille and held out her dress. Look, Lucille, look, look, my dress is frilly, just like yours, she said. I gave this outfit a lot of thoughts because I wanted us to look like the best friends today. She threw her arm around Lucille's shoulder and Sheldon ran up and took it off. Whoa, 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 he said. You'll have to fix someone else to be your best friend, May. Lucille is my best friend these days, remember? May stood there for a second, and then she leaned into Sheldon's face. You're not fooling anyone, Mr. Potts. You're just pretending to like Lucille, the same as I am, she said. You're just trying to get her to tell you where the golden egg is. Lucille looked shocked at that comment. I don't know if you'll be able to see that very good. That's not true, is it, Sheldon? You're just, just pretending to me like me, right? She said, because I told you before, I don't know where the golden egg is. My daddy hid it all by himself and he wouldn't let me peek. She glanced at her daddy very annoyed. I tried to make him tell me where he hid it, Chelsea, but daddy locked his lips and threw away the key. Sheldon clenched his fists. Drat the old invisible key trick, he said. I hate that one. Finally, he took a breath and calmed himself down. And then he patted Lucille very sweet. Don't worry, my springy little lamb. I will still find the golden egg and win the play date. I'm positive I will. He lowered his voice, kind of private. I'm wearing a lucky charm today, he said real soft. Lucille's mouth came open at that news. A lucky charm, she shouted. Do you have a lucky charm? What is it, Shelsey? What is it? Sheldon pointed down at his shirt. See that little egg dribble on my collar, he asked. That little egg dribble ran off my chin at breakfast. And look, Lucille, it landed on my collar in the shape of, he paused real dramatic, an egg. Lucille did a little shiver. Oh, Shelsey, that seems like magic almost. Sheldon nodded. I know it, Lucille. It seems exactly like magic almost. And my grandpa Ned has had every shirt stain in the book. And he said that when egg dribble lands in the shape of an egg, it means... Sheldon swallowed hard. May the egg be with me. Lucille did another shiver, and Sheldon smiled. With a magic egg shirt like this, I can't lose today, Lucille. I just can't, he said. After that, he hurried over to the Nana, and he tried to show her his egg shirt, but the Nana backed away from him. And then she quick grabbed Lucille's daddy, and she said the words, do something. The daddy cleared his throat loud. <clears throat> Boys and girls, may I have your attention, he said. First, I would like to welcome you to the party today. Lucille hopped in front of him. Yes, yes, welcome to my party and welcome to my giant house and welcome to my big, huge yard too. 
She bent down and she touched the grass. See how perfect the lawn is cut, everyone? She said, that's because we have a real professional gardener on account of rich people don't know the first thing about yard work. Right, Daddy? Plus, rich people don't like to get our hands dirty. Everyone looked at the daddy's hands and he quick put them in his pockets. And Lucille kept on talking. And did everyone see my brand new expensive Easter dress, she asked. And she spun around and flounced herself. This dress is made out of fancy floaty chiffon. And fancy floaty chiffon is as light as a feather, she said. And she fluffed her flouncy skirt. Who would like me to hop in the air and make it float? Please clap your hands, she said. But before we could clap, Lucille already started hopping and she hopped and hopped until the sweaty came on her lip. And then Lucille's mother quick ran over to her and she dabbed her face with a tissue. I looked at Herbert. This family has some serious perspiration issues, I believe, she said. Perspiration is another word for sweating. Just then Lucille's daddy cleared his throat loud. Children, as all of you know, we're going to be having a picnic and an Easter egg hunt today. But for this party to go smoothly, we're going to need your cooperation. Okay, he asked. Okay, we shouted back. Okay, okay. The daddy smiled. The first thing I'd like you to do is get into a nice straight line, he said. A nice straight line, a nice straight line, we shouted. Room one is excellent at repeating things. The daddy looked at us. Okay, fine, as I was saying, if you get into a nice straight line, we'll lead you to the picnic grounds in the back of the house. The back of the house, the back of the house, we hollered out. The daddy stopped smiling. We were getting on his nerves, I think. Next to him, Lucille's mother and Nana were doing some deep breathing. The brother had already gone inside to watch TV. Finally, all of us got into a nice straight line. Then the mother and the daddy and the Nana did a group hug with each other and they led us to the picnic grounds. And wowie, wow, wow, I could not believe my eyeballs because on the way we passed Lucille's hugey big swimming pool and it was inside a big glass house. All of room one did a gasp at that sight. Everyone do a gasp. What is that? <gasps> Very good. I ran to Lucille and hugged her around the middle. Oh, Lucille, Lucille, you are even richer than you used to be. Your swimming pool is in a big glass house now. And so my play date with you will be even funner than I thought. Lucille took my hands off her. Silly Junie B. Jones, you know the rules. If you want the play date, you're going to have to find the golden egg. And that's not going to be easy because my boyfriend, Shelsey, is wearing his magic egg shirt, she said. She looked at Sheldon and did a wink. Sheldon winked back. May was watching that action. Hey, 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 she grouched. That better not be a secret wink about where the golden egg is. Because if you're winking about the golden egg, I'm telling. And she poked Sheldon with her finger. I'm going to be watching every move you make, Sheldon Potts, she said. I'm going to be all over you like a cheap suit. I did a frown at that comment. I do not know what a cheap suit means exactly. But here is what I do know. For the first time in my life, May was right, I think. Whoever wanted to find that golden egg could not let Sheldon out of their sight. Well, let's talk about that cheap suit thing really fast. I don't know why that's a saying, but that is a saying. And a cheap suit, a suit is what? Men's wear, men wear when they go to like a wedding or something and a cheap one must cling to you. I don't know if that's true. I've never worn one. Um, do you think that Lucille told Sheldon where that golden egg is? I don't think she would do that. I don't think she knows. We'll have to find out who do you think is going to find the golden egg. Do you think it will be Junie B. Jones or Sheldon or May or maybe <laughs> someone else in the class? Hush pup, Jack's barking. We're gonna stop here. That was chapter five or chapter four. That was chapter four. We'll read chapter five another day. Have a good afternoon, guys.